morning and welcome to Yin Yoga with Natalie. Today we are going to be doing stretches for your hands and your feet. Believe it or not, those are two parts of the body that we tend to forget about. So this is a class to help you to get more limber and more flexible in those areas, especially in the colder months when you may be feeling some aches and pains. So to start, we're going to be doing stretches on our feet and ankles. So go over onto all fours. Make sure your knees are under your hips and are hip width apart. Your hands are underneath your shoulders. And we're going to start with just doing a bit of a foot stretch. So tuck in your toes and then gently push yourself to come and rest on your heels. If it's too uncomfortable with your legs slightly apart, you can bring them in closer. Then take your left hand, place it palm down to the shoulder blades, take your right hand and just gently rest it on top of your left elbow. And you should feel a full stretch from your feet up your spine. You want to keep that back as straight as possible. I'm just going to hold this for a minute. Breathe in, breathe out, and release. You can release your feet and rest for just a moment. When you're ready, breathe in, take your toes in again. Breathe out, put your right hand between your shoulder blades, palm facing down, and bring your left hand to rest on top of your right elbow. You need to breathe in. Deeply through your nose, breathe out through your nose. When you're out there, release your arms, release your feet. And how does that feel? Especially if you wear a lot of flat shoes, this is a very good stretch for you to do. We're now going to bend our feet in the opposite direction and come to stretch our ankles. So during this move, you want to either have a bolster or a block. If you can't hold your legs like yourself. And what you want to do is keep your back as straight as possible. You can do spider hands either to the side or to the back, which is most comfortable for you. And you just want to be able to lift your knees. And you want to get a stretch in the ankle in the front of your foot. If you struggle keeping your knees up, you can roll your bolster to underneath your knees or use your block to hold your knees up. Feeling the navel towards your spine. And hold that pose for one minute. You want to breathe. Breathe nice and deep, you don't want shallow breathing, you don't want to be panicking. Really good stretch. Take a deep 
Breath in. Breathe out. Move in. Rules you have used and come to rest on the ground. Swing your feet out in front of you. Put your feet flat on the mat with your knees bent. Take your, excuse the monkeys, we have wildlife around us. Then just rest gently on your hands. Take your right foot onto your left knee and just do some, a few circles with your ankle. And change direction. And swap over, put your right foot on the ground. Left foot on your leg on your knee and do those circles again. Change direction. Alright, we are now going to move on to the part where we stretch our hands. Believe it or not, but it's actually quite important to stretch your hands and our and joints, especially. If you're sitting working on the computer typing all day or writing, or you're just clicking your mouse, you're limiting the movement of your hands when you are in these processes. So you want to be able to really flex those hands in the stretch that we need. So again, come up onto all fours. Knees hip width apart, hands in front of you. Spread your fingers out. And I want you to take your right hand and put your, place your fingers facing the wall to the right. Move your left hand out, fingers out towards the left. Lift your right hand, move your fingers so they are facing your right knee. Left hand, move your fingers so they are facing your left knee. All right, now here comes the part where we stretch. Just slowly move your hips backwards a little until you get a really good stretch in your wrist. So from the side, like something like this. Just gently as far as you can with that stretch in your wrists. So you can bounce slightly back and forth to help stretch out your tendons and ligaments. You can hold the position. And we're going to stay here for about a minute. Deep breath in, straighten up your body, slowly turn your right hand out to the side, knees pointing out, left hands fingers pointing out to the side, right hand fingers facing forward, left hand fingers facing forward. Now what I want you to do is while in this position, I want you to just bend your left elbow out to the side. Take your left hand and move it so that it's palm facing up. Your fingers are together and facing towards your knee. And the back of your hand is flat on the mat. So keep this elbow bent. Take your right hand and palm facing down and fingers out. Just rest it on top of your left hand. Very gently straighten that elbow and just as you did before, move your hips slightly backwards until you feel that full stretch in your wrist. Remember, no pain, no discomfort. This should just be a really, really good stretch. You can hold this for a minute.
breath in, straighten up your hips, bend your left elbow first, then remove your right hand, place your right hand on the mat, and then turn your left hand, palm facing down onto the mat. Okay, now for the opposite side, bend your right elbow, turn your hand, palm facing up, fingers towards your knees, back of your hand flat on the mat, keep your knees elbow bent, take the left hand, place it on your right palm, fingers pointed out, slowly straighten that arm, and once you've done that, slowly push your hips back until you have a good stretch. And then just hold you for around a minute. Remember to breathe deeply. You don't want to panic. You want to be calm and relax when doing these yoga poses. Breath in, and the upper breath straighten up those hips, bend that right elbow, remove your left hand, turn your right hand, palm down, and come back onto all fours. Slowly come to sit on your feet. Now, once you take your hands, let them be limp next to your side here for a moment, bend your elbows, and then I just want you to give your hands a good shake. Just give them a good shake. Done a lot of work in your hands this morning. You might be feeling a little awkward. Just shake it all out. There we go. Interlace your fingers. Walk your hands out and stretch. And release. Thank you for joining me in today's class on how to give your hands and feet a good yoga stretch. I look forward to our next class together. Hands in front of your heart. Go well. Namaste.